The first stem cell based therapy just got FDA approval to start trials to treat COVID-19 patients. I'm Dr. Ross Carter with a special edition of the Regenerative Warrior Show. Your daily dose of longevity and wellness news in one minute a day. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced the FDA to begin fast-tracking novel therapies. According to Alex Azar from the Department of Health and Human Services, the FDA is cutting the red tape for applications of new therapies. This fast-track program called the Coronavirus Treatment Acceleration Program, also CTAP, is designed to provide the newest treatments to patients quickly. On Thursday, April 2nd, a new therapy using natural killer cells or NK cells derived from the stem cells of placental tissue was approved for clinical trials. Now, placental tissue, as you may already know, comes from the usually discarded afterbirth after a healthy baby has been born and not from aborted fetuses, eliminating any moral controversy. This investigational new drug trial represents a significant step towards a potential treatment for patients infected with the COVID-19 virus, which is spreading globally at unanticipated rates, says Dr. Robert Pirari, founder of Cellularity, the company performing the study. Now, NK cells are our body's first line of defense against the virus. However, as we become older, they become less effective. Supplementing our body with additional NK cells provides additional reinforcements for our immune system and may allow our bodies to kill the virus quickly and more effectively. Now, what's exciting about this therapy is that large amounts of NK cells can be created and easily stored at medical centers so that they can be used quickly and immediately. They are not rejected by the recipient's immune system and they can, they can fight any kind of virally infected cells, not just coronavirus. Even with this amazing potential, there are several concerns about this therapy. COVID-19 becomes deadly when it causes something called a cytokine storm or a hyperactive immune system response, leading to fluid buildup in the lungs and organ damage. Supercharging the immune system may be adding fuel to the fire, which could be dangerous for some patients. Now, additionally, NK cells may not be able to detect all infected cells in every person, making the therapy ineffective. The first stage will test 86 patients to determine its safety and effectiveness. The answer to whether or not NK cells could be a potential effective solution to the coronavirus infection, only time will tell. If successful, this will be a major advancement in the use of cellular therapy against the coronavirus. We hope that this is just one of the many cellular therapies that could get fast-tracked to help with COVID-19 victims. While NK cells can help supercharge our immune system, stem cells and cellular growth factors like exosomes have been shown to stimulate cell regeneration of damaged lung and other organ tissues, which also can occur as a result of COVID-19. Now, if the U.S. becomes open to the idea of using stem cell therapies for coronavirus, then maybe we may be able to re help remove the negative association that has been attached to these life-changing treatments. Now, the amazing abilities of stem cells and stem cell products has been known for more than 20 years. However, because of severe restrictions from the FDA, they have been blocked for use by the general public and from coverage by insurance companies. Now, overall, stem cell therapies have been shown to be safe and beneficial in a tremendous amount of conditions, including diabetes, Parkinson's, ALS, Alzheimer's, heart disease, stroke, burns, cancer, and osteoarthritis, just to name a few. However, they have been declined in the U.S. because of regulations. So I ask you a favor. Please share this video and help inform people about the amazing potential of these life-changing therapies. As we've already seen, a strong public outcry can dramatically influence the advancement in this field. And it is finally time that we expose the world to the power of stem cells and other cellular medicine products to defeat this pandemic and help with many other health conditions on the side. I'm Dr. Ross Carter, and thank you so much. Please share, like, and comment on this video. Until we meet next time. That's one minute. Let's do it again tomorrow. To learn more about this story, go to regenerativewarrior.com.